Pirate Radio. 977, the beat on the Capitol, that right there, crowning, rolling, 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 inside of the night show. It's the sound you hear that's Ota Kane adjusting the microphone in the background. I do apologize for the inconvenience, Ota. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry, did. I don't have a headset. <laughs> <laughs> he got him. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. On the Kang, special invited guest inside of the night show. Now, what's going on with uh, Barack Obama, man? Healthcare, man. Healthcare. That's what's up. Now, now explain the healthcare to me. Why the Republic is so mad that he's passing the healthcare like we don't have a choice in it and America should should have made the choice or something? I don't know. All right, I'm just going to break it down to you, man. This goes beyond partisan politics. It has nothing to do with being a Democrat or Republican. Here's the thing. The, absolutely. Right. This is major legislation, and they just did not want to see this man get a victory. Really? Everybody has tried to do this, and nobody succeeded. No uh, President Barack Obama made all of these concessions. He removed the federal funds for abortions. He removed the public option, and so he gave in to all of their wants. Right. And it passed. And they just did not want to see this man succeed. But it's done, baby. He signs it into so, law tomorrow. What wow. is the substance in this health help uh, health plan? You know, it's really what, good. What does for, it mean? It, it, it's really good for those of us who could afford health care. I interviewed a lady today who had to decide between buying medicine and buying food. Wow. She she really had to make some choices. The bottom line is, people who are unemployed, like if you get fired, like you probably get fired tomorrow for this show tonight, right? <laughs> no, so, no, 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 Look, hey, he said I die. So like, right, right. Right. But the words are flying. Like, I believe, baby. No, I'm just kidding. Though. But, but like, so, so if you're in Wait, transition, hold on, about, you know somebody I don't know. No. <laughs> 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 no, but honestly, so if you're in transition in between jobs, you know, so you know, and you don't have insurance, right? This will ensure that you can afford to get your oh, own okay. until you find more stable employment again. And if you work for a small business, it would ensure that they have federally matched funds to provide adequate health uh, insurance for their employees. That's so that's really good, good stuff. Okay, that's, that's, that's really the last question. What exactly is affordable? What well, might be affordable to you? Might not be not. affordable. But you know what though? This they going will by end, income? Right. This will no. <laughs> it, uh, I wish. Going by needs and desires, and this will ensure that every child in America has insurance, and particularly here in Mississippi. Do you right. realize how many kids in Mississippi? Right. Yeah. Need. And, well, we definitely right. need that. And then you know, okay. no bill is a clean bill, so they slip like all of these things into that. But yeah. absolutely, one of the good things is uh, there's some education money in this health care bill. Huh. So, uh, like so, sex so, so it's what's up? Like sex so, education in, in the schools. Well, we need right. some sex education. Well, in uh, and also prevent you with a pound of cure, you know. We need education, period. In these Ooh, schools. Yeah. Like, wow. Say that. We, no. we, we need education, period. Now, and I, that's all I'm gonna say on that. So, so, you so the Republicans are mad, but they might as well get glad because it's done. Yeah, it's just done. Out. Let it go. Okay. It's okay. over with, baby. You gotta win. Now, now back to the sex ed. So you you are a firm believer of sex education in the school? I absolutely believe that and, and, abstinence messages only don't work. Okay, no. I thought you were about to say abstinence only. No, they don't work. Look at the number of teenagers in Mississippi that are pregnant. Uh, teenage moms, we lead the nation. We lead the nation uh, with teen mothers, you know, teen births. So uh, abstinence-only messages, they're failing our kids. And I don't care about what these preachers say. You know, you look at the congregation, you got pregnant teenagers in your congregation. So obviously there's a disconnect. Something is not working. So we need sex education in the school. Sex education? You know, my dad is a teacher at a local school, and he said some of the kids think it's cool to be pregnant in high school. Like, wow, wow really? Wow. Well, the school I came from is totally not cool. They looked at you like you were an outcast. Who wants to walk around like that? Like, we... I'm not going to tell y'all what school I went to, Ridgeland. but the school... <laughs> yeah, Ridgeland. And it's predominantly Caucasian, you know. And if you're 14 or 15 years old, pregnant, do you know how that feels? People don't know how that feels. But see, going to, like, JPS schools and stuff like that, that's a difference because it's, like, it's kind of the norm. Yeah, it's more accepted, and it's going to be the norm. But see, out there, it's like we... Well, I'm going to say it. It was a girl, ninth grade. She was pregnant when, you know, we were in the ninth grade. She came from eighth grade pregnant over the summer back to ninth grade. And, you know, she was just shunned on. And her mom them had to really homeschool her because people were just talking about her and just everything. So that's why we don't condone that out there. And it, it's not accepted. And, and people know that it's not accepted on that side. So that's that's the difference. It's okay. accepted here. You're right. Okay. You're right. So now, there's a standard deviation taking place. Now, back to the school issues. The young lady, 
I know you've heard about it. She's been on the Ellen uh, the, the Generous show. Oh, about the yeah. what, what do you think about that? Man, what, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, okay, you got the guidelines set right here, the books set. What, what, what are your thoughts on it? But what are the guidelines? I, I, I'm thinking more of a dress code. So, so this girl it, it, is the was the only problem that she wanted to wear a tuxedo and look like a boy and bring her or did she want girl. to bring a date she, she wanted to bring, bring the date all of the above right so what, the, what What are the rules what What do the rules say do the rules say that if you are a gay female you cannot bring your lover to the prom with you does the rules say that well, I'm thinking maybe like uh, the tuxedo pants and the and the tie and all that kind of. I guess I don't. I don't know. I mean, look at some of these heterosexual kids and the way they dress to go to prom. Uh, they should be bad. Yeah. Uh, it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't think the whole prom should have should have uh, been canceled. Been no, canceled. Not at all. But I still think it should be some kind of guidelines on what to wear in school. Just like thigh pants, too tight clothes. You know what I'm saying? I think that kind of falls in that category. Yeah, I, I, I believe that perhaps they should have a dress code. But do you really think that this situation got to this degree simply because this girl wanted to wear a tuxedo? No. no. Yeah, it was a gay issue. It was right. It was, right. It was a discrimination was towards this girl. Yeah, it was it absolutely is. a discrimination towards this girl. And they were wrong. And, 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 and that school district is being sued. The ACLU, right. they're taking this up. And they're really. Um, I, I think the reason hustle. the reason why they they canceled the whole entire prom so it wouldn't be like okay I am directing this this one person, this one person so right. they can't say that uh, we're discriminating against you. But look how bad that backfired. Now they're probably gonna get the best prom of their lives because Helen is coming to town and gonna put on the prom. Yeah, look look right. how bad look how bad y'all topic uh, last Friday <laughs> backfired. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't even wow. no coming G14 wow. classified. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it could, it could hey. not even be just that one girl because a lot of times the whole story is not put out there. So it could have been a group of these kids and she just could have been the leader. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. 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 And you know what, though? And, you know, she was on the Ellen DeGeneres show the other day. And, right. And I think Ellen offered to pay for a problem, but she said no, she wanted to the school to be held accountable as they should be. But she did get $30,000 from Ellen. How about that? Nah, that's what's up. Now, 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 one more question. Oh, before you get up out of here, man. The superintendent was graded today. Or was that yesterday? The superintendent? Yeah, was great. He's been in the uh, been a superintendent for what three years now. Oh, Lonnie, Doctor Edwards, the superintendent of JPS. Yes, yes. What was his grade? No, that's why I was gonna ask you. <laughs> oh, I, 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 F, F F plus 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 I mean, I, I don't know. See I that, see that you. Be, you, you know, let, let me tell you something, man. Um, I think Doctor Edwards is a nice guy. I think that he walked into a very unfortunate situation. Right. I think the Jackson Public School Board sucks. I think they all need to be impeached. You know, they need to be ran out of there. But I think that the state legislature is, uh, legislature is signing into law where we will have seven school board members to represent all seven wards, you know, in the Senate. And I'm a big proponent that school board members should be elected and not appointed so that you can cut out some of this political maneuvering and BS that's going on. So, so you know. Um, As parents, what, 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 what is I, I, our you know, Edwards, Edwards in, me, in my mind, probably deserves a C. I don't know. Okay, okay. So as parents of JPS students, what should be their next uh, their next move? I think that they've got to become more involved in what's going on. they got to show up at these school board meetings, and they, they've got to become uh, more vocal. They tried to really play, some of them tried to really play an active part in, in the, uh, I guess, in the hiring of Dr. Edwards, but the school board kind of shone them away. And they've got to say, this is our school district, these are our kids, this is our tax money, and they've got to be more involved in that situation. There it is. All right, there it is. There is. There's a lot of young parents out there, so that goes back to sex education back into the high school. Exactly. All exactly. over again. You're going to bring everything right back to the right. Right, right, back, right back around. Well, yo, man, Oda K, man, I appreciate you coming in, man. Um, Your show is what time and what day? Uh, every Sunday, 3 o'clock. Okay. Right here on 97.7. Then we got a new show that uh, debuts on Fox 40, the local Fox channel here on Sunday, Easter Sunday, April the 3rd. On the you going to have your Easter suit on? Yeah, pink. <laughs> 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 and it's at 7 30. But also, famous one got a play. Can we just give another shout yeah, out? Yeah. Dominique, y'all got a play? Come on. You got a yeah. mic. Go. What? We got revenge coming. April 23rd and April 24th. Jimmy Lee. Lee. That's right. It's going to be hot. Check out um, JB Play. Last day to get $10 tickets. What? The tickets are $10. 10 Last bucks. Day. The boy go hard. Y'all better support him now. Because he's going to them gonna be like $50 in about the next couple years. I mean, or the next year. <laughs> next week. Radio.